Keeping items out of your dog's mouth can be difficult, but let's face it, it happens. So how do you know if your furry friend eats something that requires a trip to the animal ER? Well, Dr. Megan Callahan from Veterinary Emergency Group joins us with five common things that require emergency care. Good morning. Hi, good morning. So we want to start off with a look at some x-rays that you guys sent us. And wow, dogs manage to get in all different types of things, don't they? They certainly do. At the ER, we see the gamut of things dogs can ingest. So we've got x-ray pictures of uh, some of the things that dogs have swallowed, do we not? Including, oh, okay, so we've got one up right now. Uh, bras, magnetic balls, toys, quarters. Talk about some of those. Yeah, so I mean, those are just some of the, the common items that dogs will eat, but um, we're concerned about metal toxicities with some of those items. Bras obviously can stretch through the intestinal tract and cause obstructions. Um, you know, anything from plastic to, um, uh, you know, metal to medicines to plants to um, even human foods and household cleaners can cause toxicities, cause obstructions. Um, those are the cool x-rays that you can see what they ate, but you don't always see everything. So, so we so also have to watch out for- we, that we just put up there, those are from mm -hmm. patients that you have dealt with at, at your practice? Yes, ma'am. Those you, were surgical cases. And that was what I was gonna ask. I mean, what do you do? How do you get things like that out? So, so you have to go in surgically through the abdomen and remove it. Um, if there's any damage to the intestines, you have to remove those portions of the intestines as well. And what's the recovery like? I mean, are, are those are dogs okay after after surgery like that and removing those items? So it really depends on how long the item's been in there and yeah. what the item is made of. Um, so in general, dogs do well with surgery. The recovery is usually about two weeks, but it is a little touch and go for the first few days. Okay, so I have a dog, Otis, and he is still, he's seven years old and he still chews everything to this day. We have to hide our sneak, our shoes from him. He eats sponges, everything. Do you have like repeat offenders who, who come back in, like they don't learn their lesson? <laughs> Absolutely, it's usually the repeat offenders. Um, if, if they're gonna be dogs that have a propensity of eating things or cats, yeah. um, then they're gonna do it again. Yeah, unfortunately that yeah. is the case. <laughs> so, so we have five things uh, that dogs tend to ingest. Do we wanna run through those? Right, absolutely. So I touched a little bit on it earlier, plastic, so dog toys, kids toys, um, even the, the packaging that the treats come in, um, certain medications, our medications we drop, um, or if they um, ingest their, too much of their own medications, that can be toxic. Okay. Plants, I think we touched on a few weeks ago or a few months ago, um, uh, in, indoors and outdoors, human foods, grapes, avocados, chocolate, and then household cleaners. Pretty much any chemical-based cleaner can be toxic as well. And toxic plants, yeah, I guess that's important to know what, what plants you have around your home in and out to make sure that they're not dangerous for your, for your animals. Right, right. Sago palms are one of the worst. They're lethal and there's no reversal agent for the sago palm seeds. All right, some great advice for all pet owners out there. Thank you, Dr. Callahan. We'll see you next month. You're very welcome. Thank you.